in a world where quality business information is needed, we bring you On the Mic with Mike, the leading social enterprise business show in RVA. Join Mike King, the partnership guru, as he delivers game changers in Metro RVA. On the Mic with Mike showcases how business can help make society better. He discusses tech, culture, innovation, best business practices, and highlighting area nonprofits. Join Mike Monday through Friday, because it is the place where the best and brightest come to chat. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mike and Mike. Mike King here. This is part of the Mike King Biz Media Network, ESPN Richard 106.1. That's where you find us Monday to Friday, Sunday, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. with the breeze. I'm hanging out with those guys over there. Uh, we're going a little bit on the nostalgia side. I'm not doing music. I'm just, you know, talking to great folks that I talk to every day. What we do is we showcase RVA in a different way. Hey, we got friends of the family back with us again. Andrew Starr, Jay Smack is here talking about the ride that's coming up. Jay, thank you. How'd I do, Jay? Perfectly, man. You're exactly. such exactly. We it's not a race because we don't want to scare people off. All right, Andrea, really quickly tell folks who you are and what you guys do over there at the Ford Foundation. Yeah, I am Andrea Starr. I am the CEO of Ford Foundation, which is a nonprofit here in Richmond that is dedicated to assisting single working parents that have encountered something in their life resulting in a financial challenge. And so we are there to offer support and education and resources in any way possible um, to help these parents just, you know, be able to navigate a really challenging time. So Andrew, I know you have a massive staff of hundreds that you were <laughs> out there making this happen. Let's talk about the staff. And then all of a sudden, we're going to go into the part with the volunteers play. And then we're going to bring my man Jay in because volunteers a lot of times are the backbones and fill in the blanks and the spaces where you don't have the, the capacity for staff. Yeah, like I said, we are a very small nonprofit. I am the only full-time employee we have. <laughs> well, that's massive. <laughs> that's right. We're huge. Um, but you know what? The nice thing is, is that the community knows that when they're supporting us, their dollars are supporting families in our community. Um, we, you know, we make every effort to ensure that anything that is raised is going towards our programming and going towards our support. That's really important to us. Um, and and I know that for a lot of people that support nonprofits, they they want to know that, and and they're entitled to do so. So it's important that people are aware. Uh, that you are supporting locally and you are supporting your neighbors, your coworkers, and your family members that are living in your community. On the mic, and mic, Andrew Starr is here. I call myself the voice of RVA. Jay Smack is just the voice. <laughs> he he is the voice. All right, Jay, uh, you're known around town as a person who helps from the business side. You do a lot, but also on the community side. Talk about who you are, what you do, and and your support of the Ford Foundation. Well, Mike, I uh, I do believe in community engagement um, because it there just doesn't seem to be another option. You know, when you're looking to help and, and be, you know, be involved in your community, this this quote has been attributed to so many people over time. But I heard it from Pablo Neruda saying changing the world is an inside job. So you just show up, help your fellow person do what you can, and the rest kind of will take care of itself. That might sound idealistic, but you got to start somewhere. And the Forward Foundation, I love that it's local, you know, and I do a bunch of charity rides and I do a podcast highlighting nonprofits, but the fact that it's local and it helps people you know and helps these single parents in financial crisis to kind of get over the hump or at least, you know, work towards it, it just means the world. And when Andrea asked me to get involved because she knew I was a cyclist, I said, of course. And and here we are four years later, and this thing has really grown. And part of that is because of people like you helping out. I remember, Andrea, uh, we were at the Common House, and that's the first time I had met Jay. That seems like three lifetimes ago. And so what have you learned over the course of the years with the with the ride that's different now? Because you had to navigate COVID, and uh, here we are on the other side of it. What have you learned? Jay, I'll let you take the lead on that. 
you know, you've been so instrumental in, in putting this right on the map. Well, I tell you, you know, it's, it's definitely a community effort, but we started, like you said, during COVID, not the best decision, but you don't make those decisions. They just happen. And we had a small group of cyclists show up and do the ride and get the word out. And what we have learned is that you got to meet people on several levels. Everybody's got a big heart and want to help their community, but some people just want to have come out and have a great time and help the organization that way. And that's cool. You know, come out and if you're a cyclist and you want a, a, a nice ride, a challenging ride with a great after party, and the after party has become almost as big as the ride itself. So if you don't ride, just come out and hang out with us. We're going to have food and music and Final Gravity has been great. So we've learned a lot and not the least of which is how to put on an event. This thing, even though it's small compared to some others, it's big to us. And we've had a lot of work. We put in a lot of work all year long. And when I say we, I mean Andrea. Uh, and then she brings us in to kind of tie up the loose ends and we we kind of do the best we can. But it's been educational to say the least and we've also learned that this community ama is amazing and people will come out and support it you know if it's a good cause and you work hard and she does andrew star jay smack here ford foundation the ride is coming up all right andrew let's get the particulars on the event so the event will take place at final gravity again this year which is in beautiful lakeside area we as jay mentioned um We'll have an after party afterwards. So for those that maybe you're not interested in doing the ride and just want to come out and have fun, this is a family friendly, pet friendly event that we will have live music. We will have a food truck. We will have um, some vendors. Final Gravity does a really cool go forward Pilsner, which is a special brew that they um, that they offer for the week leading up to our ride and they sell it uh, to anybody and a dollar of every poor, they graciously donate back to the foundation. So there's multiple ways for people to get involved and participate if they don't actually wanna ride in the ride. And it's a ride, it's not a race. So it is, you know, we take safety at the utmost, um, you know, caution and we have police presence, we'll have SAG support, we'll have motorcyclists out there um, helping, we'll have, you know, lots of lots of people participating to make sure that everyone is able to ride um, at the pace that they feel comfortable with and also have a safe ride and come back and, and hang out and, and enjoy the after party. One of Mike, Mike here, ESPN Richmond 106.1, The Breeze, as well, uh, here with uh, Andrew Starr, Jay Smack, talking about the event that they have coming up. So, Andrew, we go way back. I thought that you had always been at the Ford Foundation. You reminded me you had <laughs> that you were sort of new there when I came on the scene when we had first started. We know you as the executive of the person, the person running the Ford Foundation. The one part that you're in the people business because you are in the people partnership business because I see you everywhere. Talk about why that needs to be important for a nonprofit that changing the world, Jay, ain't cheap, easy, or free. So money got to change hands somewhere. And so you you know some people, Andrea. You know, this is the thing, Mike, um, that that I've learned, and, and we we learn as humans every single day, but the bottom line is being able to form relationships, being able to connect with others. And what does that look like? That means that, you know, you you have to be out and about. You need to be face to face. We, you know, we're doing a Zoom call right now, which is great. And, you know, we know each other and we we've done this several times before, but to really connect with somebody and form a relationship, it's that face to face. It's being out in person and, and talking to someone and connecting with them. So why is that important for a nonprofit? Because everything we do is based upon building relationships. It's about you know, meeting with the community. It's about learning about not just what we do and spreading awareness, but it's about connecting with others that are aligned with the work that we're doing. And pretty much everybody out there either has been a single parent, has been raised by a single parent, or knows a single parent. Um, 
you know, the numbers speak for themselves as far as how, you know, that one in four families are led by single parent families. So being out in the community, establishing those relationships, meeting people, talking to people, that's what keeps the wheels turning. And that's what it's about. Really quickly. So Jay, we're both in the media business. Andrea is sort of the media darling. When she gets on the press tour, she is at the number of places, and that just speaks to how the media people feel about what you're doing. Because it's hard to get on. It's hard to get on to those places. But people believe in the mission that you're doing. So, Jay, talk a little bit about how you see that. Well, the thing about Andrea, and she always resists you know, these, these kind words that come at her, but that's part of what makes her so genuine. And that is what makes people want to help her is that she is genuine. It's real. She really cares. She leads with her heart and you just can't deny that. And when you're, when you're only one person, you know, when you're only the person that you are, you don't have to remember how to be anybody else. And people relate to that, you know, and she's leading that organization with the same ethos, you know, and that, and met, that makes people want to help. And, you know, when she reaches out and says, Hey, we've got this thing going on. Can you help us out a little bit? Never, you know, never demanding and never too much. You just want to help. And then when it's uh, an organization that's in your own backyard, that's doing such important work, it's just a no brainer, but that the, what, what it is, Mike, what you're talking about is authenticity. And that's what Andrea is. And that's what this organization is. Andrea, so you do listen to the people when we first met, it was just women. How do you have that conversation to open it up to men being in that position too? Because what's it been now, a couple of years? So we actually um, have just celebrated our, well, four, it's four and a half years. It'll be five years um, come January, which is hard it's gone by so quickly. And yes, when when the foundation was established, um, it was rebranded from the Sophie House and established as Ford Foundation in January of 2020. And at that time, they were specifically helping single women and single mothers. And it was always, always in my back pocket that I wanted to be able to support single fa fathers. Um, this organization is very personal to me because not only was I a single mother for many, many years, and I've walked this walk and I know how important having support is, but I was also raised by a single father at a time that that was really unheard of. So the fact that those numbers are, are growing exponentially as far as single, single dads now also um, being very prevalent in the single parent led world, it's important that we offer support to them as well. Now, is that support the same? Not necessarily. You know, it, everybody has a different journey. Everybody is dealing with different challenges. And pride is the number one factor in there that prevents these parents from reaching out. And it's hard enough for the moms. It's even harder for the dads. So that's where that came about, Mike, that it was always something that I wanted to be able to offer support to both dads and moms. But as we watch the numbers increase, as we see the, the need for support, that, that's, why, that's why we're out there. And that's why we're offering support to both moms and dads. All righty. What is the date of the event? Let's get the particulars. It is October 7th. It is Saturday, October 7th. Again, starting at Final Gravity in Lakeside. Um, we have a 50 mile route and we now have a 30 mile route. So I'll let Jay talk about that so he can share some of that information too. Yeah, uh, the, the 50 mile route, it's a nice solid distance for experienced cyclists. It goes up and around Ashland through Hanover County. There's some climbs up there. It's a really good, just challenging enough ride on some beautiful roads that aren't too heavily trafficked. And the 30 mile is a result of some feedback we got. Uh, some people said, I really love to do it, but 50 is a little too much. So what it does is there's a rest stop in Ashland, right downtown Ashland, right near the train tracks. Uh, and then the 30 mile cuts away at that point and comes on back. So if 50 seems like a little bit too much, maybe the 30s up your alley. But as this thing grows, maybe we'll have even another distance. We had talked about a kid's ride, but I don't want to get the cart before the horse. But we've got two distances that are accessible to most people who who like to ride. Uh, but 
if 50 is too much, maybe the 30 is more your speed. But regardless, like I said, the after party is an amazing event. So everybody is welcome and encouraged to come out. It is always a pleasure, Jay Smack, Andrea Starr. Jay, how can people find you out there for your uh your services? You you really hooked my man. Uh the the audio, the commercials you did for the Ford Foundation are outstanding. What you did for my man Chris Mayfield, all the work is always great. How can people find you, engage you out there? Yeah, thank you, Mike. Um I've kind of slipped into this territory now in the last five years or so where I'm doing voiceover full time. I'm an um a sound designer and audio engineer, but the voiceover has really taken off, and you can find me at jsmacvo.com. That's for the voiceover. And my general website is jsmack.com with all the all the stuff I'm playing around with. All right. Appreciate it. Andrea Starr, how can people find you? You can find us at forwardfoundationva.org. And if you are interested in getting more information about the ride, you can go to goforwardtogetherride.com. And I can't thank, I can't thank um, the community and the sponsors um oh, wait, okay all right yeah. hold up you, okay. uh, you know i can't let you get out of here without them let's let's go down with the sponsors we got to show them love we have to show them love and i want to start with our ride committee because none of this would be possible without jay todd dan steve and eric um just opening the doors and and really putting this right on the map so first and foremost and then i would like to thank premise I'd like to thank um, the Goddard School of Ashland, Red River Foods, Summit Information Solutions, United Bank, RABA, Blue Ridge Cycle Re, Star General Contracting, U.S. Pest Control, and Welcome Home Financial, because they have all stepped up to support us as the sponsorship for this ride. So we are incredibly, incredibly grateful to them. It is always great when you have a community businesses step up to support outstanding organizations like yours. All right, ma'am, really quickly, let's go through the, the Ford Foundation calendar because you're not one and done. You're, <laughs> you're going to stop this after the, the, you know, the ride, and then you're going to be right on to the next thing. Yeah, so I thank you for asking that, Mike. So we have some really fun and exciting things that are coming up after the ride. Um, we will, on November 9th, we are doing a happy hour at the Quirk fundraiser, or, or I said that backwards, a happy hour fundraiser at the Quirk. Okay. And this is going to be the launch of the pre-sales of our gala happening on February 24th. And the gala is always a big deal. That is our huge celebratory gala um, that we just you know, we we add something to it and a, a fun element every single year. And it sold out this year, Mike. So we had to find a bigger venue and we've got lots of surprises in store because this will be our five-year milestone anniversary. So I want everyone to save the date for February 24th of 2024 and come out and join us um, November 9th at the Quirk where we will be launching the ticket sales of the event. There so. you go. It is always a pleasure. One of my, my Andrea Starter Ford Foundation, Jay Smack, uh, is out there always doing amazing things. All righty, folks, thanks now. Appreciate it. Thanks. We'll talk to you soon. Thank, you, Thank you for having us, Mike. Thanks. Take care now. You too.